Hi, in this video I will show you how you can make changes to your SwiftUI app and these changes are getting automatically picked up in the iOS simulator without recompiling your app. And this is done by adding the inject Swift package to your SwiftUI application. At this point when I record the video the latest version was 1.0.3 so I'm adding this here and you can see that this Swift package was correctly added and embedded to the Swift UI application. Very important, I have to set other linker flags. This particular option is necessary that then the Apple's dynamic linker will later on inject the code which we changed. And now we have to instrument our application. First we have to import the Swift module and then we only need two lines to add to our Swift UI view. First we add an observable object and second is we add at the end of our uh, body of the Swift UI view the view modifier enable injection. Very important we have to use the injection3 app and have to specify the project directory that defines which files are being watched for changes. So now when we run our iOS application we will see in the Xcode console that the Injection3 app was able to establish connection to our SwiftUI app and that changes are being watched. Let me quickly explain a little bit about the structure of the uh, test app here. It has a home view in the home view we use a tab view to present content on the left and right hand side. On the left hand side the content view, on the right hand side a settings view. The content view is using an environment object to load data when the view appears. This loading of data is very simple here. It's asynchronously and a an published property gets set with a date but the initial value is just NA. Also in the content view, a uh, view from a local package is getting used called user view. And also in this local package there is the settings view which reuses the user view. So now let's see how it looks like. We are trying to change the navigation title and you can see in the iOS simulator the changes are getting picked up and correctly are displayed. Let's do some uh, more changes. Uh, we want to change the um, top title. So we're changing uh, the left and right title. And also we can see in the Xcode console the changes were picked up and the iOS simulator chose the changes correctly. Interestingly, the published property value gets set to its initial value. This I only found how to fix it to navigate uh, away and then to the view. Let's try to change a value in the uh, local package in the user view but the changes are not getting picked up. We can see this in the Xcode console. That's because we it's a different directory so we have to add this to the file watcher in the injection3 app. And once we have done that let's try to do the changes now. We can see it's picked up and once we navigate to this view now the changes are there. However, on the right content, uh, on the right tab view, the changes are not there. The old value is getting presented. That's because the SwiftUI view was not invalidated. And one way I found how to fix that is by introducing a helper view. It wraps the original view and um, by injecting a state property uh, from the parent into this wrapping view. This will allow SwiftUI view to recompute then the view and show the correct changes. So let's try to change user view one more time. And um, it's still not picked up because I haven't changed um, the, the content view. So let's do this. In the content view I will change the selection which is the input for the refreshable content view and once I've changed that we can see that um, the changes were picked up. So 
I hope this helps you getting started and getting familiar with hot reloading in Swift UI.